While many of the ocean's most endangered species are threatened by floating debris, flotsam and jetsam in the Atlantic Ocean create huge ecosystems for a variety of fish. Also, there's crabs, shrimp, and birds feeding amongst the debris. In this case, here we see a floating green net, possibly from Portugal or Spain's fishing fleets, discarded into the Atlantic. And what happens is algae uh, forms around the net and on it, and little tiny fish accumulate feeding on the algae. And then the chain grows from there. Seen here, wahoo float and swim around the perimeter of the net, sometimes as far as a mile away from it. Oceanic triggerfish, mahi mahi, also known as dolphin fish, triple tail, blue marlin, tuna, huge variety. I mean, it's just incredible the, the numbers of fish. Sometimes you can have several tons of fish uh, swimming and feeding on floating debris. This whole process is quite natural, but of course, plastics in the sea are not. Natural debris are, are trees and other organic material that have floated out into the sea um, from rivers. This sort of plastic nets and you name it cause widespread damage and kill many turtles, dolphins and other animals.